Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com and I'm here with a lovely Libra March 2022 horoscope. Well, some good news this month. There are no retrograding planets. There are no eclipses. There are no major aspects uh, happening in your chart that I can see. So uh, it's full steam ahead. Uh, we can get stuff done. We can make a lot of progress uh, particularly spiritually speaking as well. The other thing, a, a little weird thing, uh, if you're in the uh, Western United States on Pacific time or uh, mountain time, uh, then you may have a black moon on the 31st. So that's the second new uh, moon of the month. Uh, if you're east of there or if you're in Boise, Idaho, which is on mountain time, but doesn't seem to fit in with what I'm saying at all uh, then that will be on the 1st of April it's all due to time differences basically and time zones and stuff like that so you'll have uh, in the rest of the world uh, a uh, new moon on the 1st of April April Fool's Day <laughs> okay uh, so a lot of progress to be made spiritually that's the main point okay uh, I'll just briefly explain uh, what I do I like to draw two tarot cards as theme cards for the month uh, for you we'll have a look at your horoscope in depth and then I'll do a psychic channeling at the end if you're new subscribe and be alive and hit that notification bell right now Okay, let's go to the board and uh, see what we can see. And I'm going to draw these two cards uh, first off. Okay, so the first card you can think of as the first half of the month, if you wish. Or you can take the two cards together uh, and see how they apply to you. All right, we're going to go with this one, uh, closing my eyes. What do I see? Steps in front of me. They lean to the right. And so this says it's time to be a little bit logical about something this month. Steps means you're increasing uh, your spiritual evolution. You're raising your vibration, which is always a good thing. They're sort of arched or curved steps going up, uh, which probably provides a little bit of interesting detail to your life. Uh, it might be that it starts off in one direction and ends up going in in the opposite direction and uh, you know perhaps you're you know you could be like a bit of a detective and start on something but it ends up in a different place uh, the card that comes up is the page of Pentacles this means there's um, something going on with your finances news coming about uh, finances and I'm quite optimistic so I always think a page is good news coming there's something here that you don't know about uh, but there is also something that you do know about so there's a situation you've got partial knowledge of now there's some um, red here which means that action needs to be taken but this card the word I get is pleasant uh, and it feels quite light okay uh, the energy is quite light around it Okay, uh, if we look here in your second and eighth houses, the um, houses most associated with money, yes, we've got the nodes there, the north and the uh, south node uh, in Scorpio and Taurus, okay, and um, Scorpio is sort of more emotional, it's a water sign, but Taurus is about money, it's about luxury items, it's about um, other people's money or the money you share with somebody else loans inheritances if you're in business employees or contractors now over here we have Uranus as well and Uranus brings unpredictable uh, things it could be positive or negative it could be something out of the blue that most people wouldn't do but you go and do it <laughs> and that's fine too okay uh, so I've got a very pleasant feeling about it all right, let's have a look at the next half of the month and see what comes out for you, lovely Libra. I'll go with that one under there. Uh, small furry animals uh, come to mind, particularly cats. I don't know if I'm biased here because Leopard was just here a moment ago, but he's wandered off now. He never comes into the um, onto the board the way that Harry does. Harry lays all over everything. Leopard just comes and 
gives it a sniff and walks away. He's a bit aloof like that. Uh, and um, small furry animals, and so I feel like it's affectionate. Uh, and it might not be full on affection, uh, but you know there is a special bond between you, even if uh, the small furry animal, you know, does act aloof. I see some, two um, white flags, and they're sort of crossed like that. You know, when you go to the car races, <laughs> I used to when I was a teenager, and they do the checkered flag at the end, you know. Um, you know somebody won the race or whatever but this is two white flags so there's some sort of sur surrender uh, is it you surrendering to a situation or is it somebody who's come back to you and they're saying they're sorry basically uh, of course I find that in my life people often come back <laughs> all right let's um, let's pick the card and here we have uh, the Queen of Pentacles. It's funny because just then when I shuffled them, oh, before I was shuffling, this one actually jumped out. But because I saw it, I put it back in the in the deck. Uh, and here it is again, so it's determined. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, this is about your finances in a really great way uh, because she can manifest money, this woman. She's very astute in business, but she's careful in the home as well. She could even work from home, in fact. Uh, and so even if you're not working, this is about how you run your household, even. Uh, maybe you could make things or grow things to sell, you know, uh, grow vegetables, um, you know, handicrafts or something and sell them online. Uh, she sits on a gold throne uh, because she is so good with money. She's dressed in red because she takes action. She doesn't just think about it. Yes, she has great ideas but she puts them into practice. There's also a little spell box, a little box here. Yeah, it could be a sewing kit or it could be a spell box. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and so it's all about manifestation, okay? What, what she wants to manifest uh, in her life. People go to her for advice most probably too because she's well known. Okay, so uh, finances are super important uh, to you this month, uh, lovely Libra. We also have a royal chart because there is a bit of a focus uh, with all the planets over on this side, on this western side of your chart. There is a bit of a focus on relationships and um, how you get on with people. But mostly everything's in the um, second quadrant here. Uh, okay, so it's about... Uh, your friends, your family, the people close to you. I want to say too, maybe you're looking after them in some way. Maybe you're supporting them in some way. There is a lot happening here in your uh, fourth house of uh, home and family and it does come up in your horoscope uh, several times. Okay, um, your rule of Venus is here in your fourth house of home and family, bringing peace, harmony, love, beauty, uh, to your home and your family. With Mars there, it gives you a lot of huge amount of um, energy for it. And Pluto, there's something karmic or this is a, one of the transpersonal planets, so it could be a karmic issue or it could be um, something to do with regeneration, okay, growing your family or some sort of birth in your family, like born again or something like that. They're the sort of like key words. Uh, then Jupiter conjunct Sun is fabulous for uh, your work and health um, or your, um, uh, yeah, your work and health basically or your well-being. Okay, the Sun brings a spark of life, it brings energy, vitality, uh, insight into a situation and Jupiter touches, um, everything it touches it makes grow or expands you know it's about things getting bigger getting more work you know uh, also uh, there's something about coaching uh, or mentoring maybe somebody comes into your life that can help you you know in um, you know giving you extra support by coaching you with something or maybe you coach somebody else with something okay uh, there's some um, so there's a stellium here uh, in your fourth house 
Uh, and there's also stellium here in your sixth house, but the moon and the sun travel so fast uh, that there won't be, you know, they won't be there very long. Uh, and we've got Venus, Mars and Pluto all conjuncting, all 26, 27 degrees. Um, so that's quite important. Venus does move quite quickly, so it, it will be out of that in a few days. Um, but that'll leave um, here in the fifth house, you'll see Mercury and Saturn together uh, conjunct. So that basically brings a lot of structure, a lot of communications, a lot of stability around your creativity. You could get a hobby or um, something that you, you know, get organized with and, and maybe you put some sort of structure in place there. So this looks a pretty good month, really. You make a lot of progress this month, uh, lovely Libra. But not just spiritually, also uh, physically, okay? Other people uh, will be involved in your life, very much so this month. Now, your horoscope in depth, the beginning of the month from basically the 27th of February up to the 2nd or 3rd of March, even to the fourth, um, there is a lot happening with your rule of Venus and Mars, and this brings a lot of strong sexual feelings, a lot of um, strong energies. But um, Venus and Mars can work beautifully together because you can really get stuff done, uh, and they're conjunct, so it's not a hard aspect as such, and it's it's not a soft aspect. Uh, although some people do count conjuncts as being hard but basically it means that you're likely to be more independent uh, you're likely to want to get your desires fulfilled and particularly your strong um, sexual feelings or romantic passions you'll want to fulfill those in some way if you're not interested in that you might find that it manifests as uh, creativity okay especially when venus moves into your fifth house here uh, you might find that you're more interested in art, music, uh, the world of the child, uh, entertainment, uh, that sort of thing. There's a great focus on love and companionship, so your friendships could be enhanced, for, for example. Um, and uh, we also have the sun uh, at the beginning of the month conjuncting sun, conjuncting sun, sun sextiling Uranus. Uh, and um, so this brings a lot of insight and awareness and something unusual could happen okay particularly regarding other people's um, shared resources or other people's money that they somehow share with you so it could be a loan inheritance superannuation or 401k I feel it's really positive it's like a um, bolt out of the blue you could you know I'm not saying this is enough to win lotto but you know if you do gamble I'm not a gambler myself but yeah it could be yeah something that's like a gamble that pays off and I'm not encouraging you to gamble I'm just saying it's something really strange let me know in the comments uh, and um, we also have Mars conjuncting Pluto uh, first to the 4th of uh, Mar March and uh, it could be a decision needs to be made uh, and you need to cut something off or cut something out of your life now uh, to give you more space. Uh, be careful you don't push yourself, that you're not overly forceful uh, with yourself or with other people. You could be acting quite compulsively about something. You know, maybe you, I'm one when I get out in the garden, I'm like that. I just want to get this garden bed planted and dealt with or get these weeds out or whatever it is and and sort of work furiously towards that you know and want to accomplish that and we may not be completely aware of what we're doing and why we're doing it because we've just sort of in Australia we say we've got a maggot on the brain <laughs> which is not a very nice saying but it just means that you're not really thinking that much about it you're, you're acting you know uh, there are some sorts of issues about power and control that can um, come up also under this influence. Power struggles are quite likely. 
From the 4th of March to the 5th of April, uh, your ruler Venus moves here to the 5th house uh, and this will inspire you very much with um, creativity and romance and if you're already in an established relationship you could somehow rejuvenate that. You feel younger perhaps, you feel more vital uh, and um, mid-month, um, you know you see Mercury conjuncting Saturn here and mid-month um, there's harmony, beauty to structures, including relationships that need structure. So if you're sort of in a casual arrangement with someone, you might find that you want more than that and you want some level of commitment, okay? And that could happen uh, here because there is, there's a lot of positivity um, this month. Fourth to the seventh sees Mars trining your ascendant and you're able to express yourself quite confidently. You know, it's like you've got more confidence, more boldness, more vitality. It's like you don't need outside approval uh, from the external world for you to think, say, do what you want to do. Okay, you're going to have more courage than you had before. Your health and vitality are quite good and uh, it's time to get some physical outlets for your energy now go for a walk in the morning uh, helps too 4th of march to the 14th of april mars uh, goes into your fifth house from here uh, to here i've just jammed it in there wherever it'll fit <laughs> Your drive for self-expression is quite high. Um, you could be feeling quite competitive. You're interested more so in entertainment, sports, contests, games, that sort of thing. Uh, you probably play hard and you play to win. Uh, creative projects and interests get an extra burst of energy and also romantic urges run very high. You actively go after the one that you desire and any love relationships are likely to intensify now the fourth to the seventh uh did i talk about venus trining ascendant already um i thought i did but no i can't see that okay venus trining your ascendant uh and um this is a time when you want to make your environment beautiful also your you know identity you might find you're putting makeup on getting dressed um you know more so than usual get doing your hair a different way and so you wish to enhance uh, your personal appearance in some way get you know a new hairstyle buy new clothes that sort of thing uh, social gatherings are likely to be very positive now 9th of march to the 26th of march mercury goes into your uh, sixth house uh, so um, it's got a busy month this month there's mercury there it will actually go here there it is <laughs> jammed in there and uh, thinking reading and learning about how to improve your work through new techniques is quite likely uh, and you might learn a new technique or procedure or somehow figure out something you know that you can um, uh, do something better at work. There's likely to be lots of discussions and communications with uh, people that you work with and there could be a lot of um, minor sort of changes at work but they're more beneficial because you're tweaking your systems. You may also be talking about any health concerns or maybe looking at your well-being. Um, it, it could be you know maybe you want to do some yoga or go and have a massage or something like that 18th of march sees a full moon over here in your sign uh, and this makes you more perceptive and, and sensitive than usual you're quite um, sensitive to what's going on in your environment and picking up the emotional currents of people around you uh, sometimes you know if you're younger you might know you might feel something and you think it's you but it might actually be coming from somebody else that you're connected with so sometimes it's hard to determine what is you or you know these feelings or these energies that you perceive what's coming from you and what's coming from other people okay uh, and um, you know this is a time for being at home and being comfortable you know in a comfortable supportive atmosphere uh, you could 
react to situations from habit, you know, in an emotional way, rather than looking at um, things objectively now. 19th of March to the 19th of April sees the sun um, go into your seventh house here. This brings insight and awareness around your partnerships, especially your marriage uh, and your important one-to-one -one relationships. Uh, the emphasis is on we rather than me. You don't wish to go it alone. You, you wish to have the companionship and company of other people. And uh, if you're having difficulties in some area of life, you might seek the advice of somebody, um, particularly a professional person like an accountant or a lawyer, uh, somebody who's got, uh, you know, an objective point of view, uh, with Mercury going into the seventh house here from the 25th to the 10th of April, there could be a lot of discussions, uh, particularly uh, with people like lawyers, because if you have a legal issue, there could be some developments now. Uh, and um, at the very least, there's a lot of discussions uh, with your close partners, your close friends, uh, and... Um, uh, other close associates basically it's a great time to negotiate an agreement or or it's likely that you'll come to a resolution of a problem that you've been ha happening uh, having uh, then we have um, the new moon or the black moon depending on your location also going into the seventh house here bringing new beginnings okay and um, it's like you've got to pay attention to your important relationships now. Uh, and particularly because it's the moon, it could be to do with women or your mother. Okay, so that's your horoscope uh, for the moment. I should have made that big. There you go, I'll make it big now. I'll put that up like that in case you just want to write anything down. Okay, so relationships and money are key themes this month for you all right i'll just close my eyes and see if there's anything uh, i can see for you lovely libra for march 2022 i get the color red that means a lot of action and with all that mars activity at the beginning of the month uh yeah you're likely to be filled with a spirit of um independence and initiative you want to strike out on your own and get stuff done and although there's a lot of emphasis with other people uh, you'll probably talk to them about it uh, but you'll get that stuff done anyway <laughs> with the advice and the support of other, others uh, doors closing in front of me you're saying goodbye to the past I almost feel like there's something that's been dogging you like something hanging around you for the past and you just want to fix it up. It could be karmic and it could be to do with money, particularly with the nodes there in the um, second and eighth house. Uh, I feel there's been a situation in the past and now you want to move forward. You want to be done with it, cut it off, finish and start on new terms about money. Uh, okay, what else? Yes, so I'm seeing those doors closed. Something about oranges. I, I don't know what that means, but orange is the colour of the um, sacral chakra. Your creativity uh, could be getting a boost uh, as evidenced by your horoscope. Uh, and also something about self-expression. I see a silver chain around a woman's neck. Uh, and it's how to express yourself in a feminine way, a more feminine way. People might have the wrong idea about you in some way or they've formed an opinion uh, and now they're going to have their opinion changed uh, in a positive way. Okay, so that's it, lovely Librans. I hope this has been useful for you. Uh, leave a like, a comment uh, or share on your socials. That would be fabulous. I would really appreciate that. And uh, if you're new, please consider subscribing, uh, joining the channel and uh, hit that notification bell right now. Have a wonderful month, everybody, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. 
please visit my website absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.